So, uh, I wanted to do something on resistance training because I see that a lot of people come in and where we're really good about doing the aerobic exercise, a lot of people tend to take it easy on the resistance training, which kind of takes away a little bit from the results and it can be very beneficial. So when we talk about COPD, we know that it covers a different range of diseases, but uh, you know, bronchi emphysema, those sorts of things. But we know that it reduces the airflow that we're getting in the oxygen to the muscles, right? So, some of the reasons we want to make sure that we're doing a good job with our resistance training and really putting some effort forth in there is it can reduce the shortness of breath, right? Okay, you can see um, better improvements when we pair the two. So that's why we recommend both. Um, not just aerobic, but the resistance training with it. And there have been no adverse effects with, shown for resistance training with patients that have COPD, okay? So some of the exercises that you can do at home when you're not here, um, when we're talking about the resistance training, you can do something as simple as a sit to stand. So where you sit down in the chair and stand back up, okay? Um, you can do something as simple as arm raises. So sit to stand is going to help with all your legs. Mm -hmm. The arm raises are going to help with your shoulders. You can do the heel raises, which is sort of like a um, calf raise. We come up on your toes and then back down. It's going to work right here. You can do your wall push-ups for a little bit of upper body at home. It's almost like a push-up against the wall. Uh -huh. Okay. And then note, you can do an upright row as well, like where you you take something and you just kind of bring it up. So it's almost almost like an arm raise, but with bent arms. Mm -hmm. Okay? So those are some examples of things you can do at home to get a little bit of exercise in them. Depending on where you're at, you might have to, or in the gym when you move on, depending on where you're at, you might need to add some weight to them. But that all depends on your personal level of fitness, okay? So some of the reasons we want to see you weight train is you're going to have an increased physical capacity. So we know that COPD, and it makes things a lot more difficult. So anything that we can do to sort of make that go a little bit better and ease it, is what we want to do, right? So um, you're going to have more independence with your daily activities, things like showering, shopping, and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, because it helps with being short of breath all the time, it should help out with the anxiety about going out and being short of breath as well. Help out with our confidence, right? Okay. And we want to see reduced fatigue we've seen with it and just an overall better quality of life. Which for me, that's, that's the big thing, it's the quality of life, right? Okay. So even though the lungs are impaired, we still see that there's a lot of benefits when it comes to resistance training, okay? It, it doesn't necessarily, it doesn't change your lungs, it doesn't make your lungs better, but it changes the way that your body uses oxygen mm -hmm. a little bit. So it frees up that option to be used in other ways, okay? All right. So, um, when we talk about resistance training, one of the big things that I tend to see is that a lot of people will come in and they'll just kind of go through the motions and do something that's easy. Um, you want something that's gonna be challenging. Not too hard, but not too easy. Because otherwise, our body isn't forced to adapt. Um, so it doesn't change. And if it doesn't change, then we're not going to get any of those benefits, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, that's, that's the main thing is we, we want to make sure that we're challenged. And we're going to make sure that we're doing our diaphragmatic and personal breathing while we're doing our weight training as well. Okay? So, um, when, when we do our strength training, we don't want to skip things. We want to make sure that we're doing all our muscle groups. So we want to make sure we're doing our chest, our back, our arms, and our legs. Okay? So we don't want to skip anything, okay? And that's just talking a little bit more about the diaphragmatic breathing and that we want to do them together, um, okay? So when we're talking about the muscle, we have aerobic muscle fibers and non-aerobic muscle fibers, right? So when we strength train, we get our body to take some of those aerobic fibers, switch them over to something that uses less oxygen or more non-aerobic or strength fiber. So that's going to be why when we resistance train, it helps out with the shortness of breath because it's freeing up oxygen, okay? So one of the other reasons that it's really, really important that we're doing the resistance training, we're doing at least moderate weights, is because as we age, we already lose 
that muscle mass, right? So a couple things that muscle helps out with. It's what we call it metabolically expensive. So it costs your body more energy to have more muscle. So the more muscle we have, the more calories we use at rest, right? Which means that it makes it a little bit more difficult to put on ex extra weight. So it does help with that as well. Um, it's also going to help out with, like I said, all the activity of daily living, walking around, getting up and down, all those things also. Um, and then it's going to help. So when you have COPD, you're, it exacerbates your body's losing the muscle, muscle, correct? Um, so with those two, as we're getting older and we have the disease, it makes said our body says, uh, muscles not really, you know. So we want to make sure we go against that. All right. So like I said, weights should be challenging towards the end. They should involve every body part. Okay. We should always be doing our personal breathing, and we always want to be aware of our shortness of breath, our dizziness, and our other symptoms while we're while we're going. Any of those are going to be indicators that we need to take a break, if not stop for the day. Okay? So, what are some of the things that are going to be helped out with? Like we said, taking out the trash, uh, any kind of yard work or gardening that we might enjoy doing, um, grocery shopping, taking a shower, even using the bathroom. Um, okay? So, our exercise machines here, they're all pin based. Um, they do have the numbers with the pins that tell you how much weight is with mm -hmm. them, okay? I saw that. Um, so, we're always more than happy to help. If you have any questions on a machine or if you want to try something different or new, please let us know. We're more than happy to help show you alternatives as well, okay? Um, we want slower, controlled reps. Um, we don't want to be throwing any things around. We don't want to allow any machines to jerk us because that's going to put extra mm -hmm. tension in could do some things with our ligaments and stuff. We don't want to get hurt, right? So being sore is okay, but it's definitely it tends to be a duller type of feeling. If you feel sharp pains, that's when we want to stop, and that's when we want to, uh, you know, get some guidance there, right? <coughs> so the benefits. It's also going to help benefit the circulatory system. Okay, um, it's going to improve the symptoms, like we said, shortness of breath and things of the sort. It's going to help build our general energy levels, right? Um, obviously, exercise also releases those uh, serotonin in our brain, so it makes us feel good. Awesome. Um, right? It's going to increase your endurance, and it's going to lower the blood pressure as well. Okay? So what it does is it increases blood pressure a little bit while you're exercising, decreases it afterwards. Okay? So, muscle tone strength. It's also going to help with balance. Um, anytime we're training core muscles, that's going to help stabilize everything as well as our back also. Okay, so if we're having a lot of lower back issues, we help strengthen the core and the stabilizers. That's going to take that stress off the back. It's going to help alleviate of those. Okay, so like I said, it makes you burn more calories, so it can help reduce body fat. Okay, um, reducing stress and all that stuff, like I said, it releases good chemicals from our brain. Um, it helps improve sleep quality as well. Okay. Um, all right. Like, and then, just like we said, we want to make sure that we're challenging ourselves. We want to use enough weight to garner those adaptations and to force our bodies to keep onto the muscle. Okay. To hold on to it. Um, while you're here, we want to make the most of our time. Right. We don't want to waste our time. You're coming in. You know, it's it's out of your day. You know, we're here to serve you. We want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to help get you the most benefit that you can while we're here. So resistance training is a part of that, okay? You have any questions for me? No. That's a wrap. Very good. Thanks. Thanks.